a special thanks and shout out to Community Chevrolet of Spencer, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2018 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. Today, let's take a detailed, in-depth walk-around look at this brand new 2018 Chevrolet Corvette C7 Z06 Coupe. The C7 Corvette was introduced for the 2014 model year and was the first Corvette since 1968 with the C3 to bear the Stingray name. 2015 marked the performance version of the Stingray called the Z06 and was introduced at the 2015 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. This Corvette is in arctic white and features the satin black full-length dual rates and stripes. The interior is the black and adrenaline red premium leather seats with a 3LZ equipment group and competition sports seats. The Corvette features magneto rheologic leak dampened suspension with driver selectable controls for ride and handling via the control knob on the center console. The driver display shows the ride handling mode selected. And all Corvettes are rear wheel drive and the Z06 is powered by the 376 cubic inch 6.2 liter supercharged LT4 16 valve pushrod V8 engine. It creates 650 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, 650 pound feet of torque at 3,600 RPM. 0 to 60 miles per hour comes in 3.3 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 7.3 seconds. Quarter mile is 11.4 seconds at 127 miles per hour with a top speed drag limited of 185 miles per hour. Uniquely, the Chevrolet offers the buyers of the Z06 an opportunity to personally assemble the engine used in their cars as part of a $5,000 package. Transmission in this car is a Tremec Source TR6070 7-speed manual with rev match technology via the red pedals on the steering wheel. The helpful gear position indicator resides in the instrument cluster. 2018 model year production officially began the week of June 5th. 
Production was discontinued at the end of July due to the plant shutdown for 13 weeks through October 2017. This shutdown was for the new paint plant upgrades, which include changes to the plant tour routes to include the paint plant along with the addition of the new assembly plant for the newly launched ZR1 model. The 2018 model year ended on January 26, 2018. Final production year totals were released on January 4, 2018, which show a total of 9,686 built. Out of that, 2,353, or 24.3%, were Z06 coupes, and 449, or 4.6%, were Z06 convertibles. The shortened model year is the lowest since 1959. Steering is electrically assisted variable rate. The Z06 features the Z07 performance package and features a 19 inch front wheels with 285-30ZR19 tires and 20 inch rear wheels with 335-25ZR20 tires. Tires are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Brakes are carbon ceramic discs with electronic stability control and performance traction management. The new Corvette features are new generation carbon fiber hood and removable roof panels. Its fenders, doors, and rear quarter panels remain fiberglass composite. The C7 uses aerogel, a material developed by NASA, to keep heat from the transmission tunnel from traveling into the cabin. The underbody panels are made of carbon nano composites, and the chassis is made of hydroformed aluminum. Headlamps are xenon high-intensity discharge units and feature gloss black bezels and accented by LED daytime running lights. Turn indicators are stacked LEDs. Down below, gloss carbon fiber forms the front spoiler and extends the wheel housings to accommodate the wider tires. Alright, let's take a look inside. Opening the doors is easy by accessing the membrane switch. As you can see, this vehicle is equipped with the optional ebony and adrenaline red two-tone interior with accent stitching. On the driver's side door panel, you do have your power window controls, power door lock controls, as well as three driver memory. You've also got your speaker grill for the Bose surround sound system. Low and wide sill plates with the Corvette entry guard. Power mirror controls is on the dash panel right next to the heads-up display controls. Steering wheel is electronically tilt and telescoping. It is also programmed into the driver memory controls. Driver seat is 8-way power. And this vehicle does feature the sport competition seats. It does feature the low gloss carbon fiber inserts. The seats are very comfortable and very supportive. 8-way power adjustment with lumbar support resides below and a rather unsightly side airbag mounted to the carbon fiber shell. Alright, let's pan through the interior and show a little more details. As you can see, the power steering is very easy and almost effortless. You do have carbon fiber trim below. You also have your cruise controls as well as vehicle multifunction controls and Bluetooth and voice controls. Audio controls reside below. Rev match paddles on either side of the steering wheel. The steering wheel also features the adrenaline red accent stitching. Reconfigurable driver information display screen with various readouts for driver controls. You've also got performance controls and auxiliary gauges. To the, to the left is a 220 mile per hour speedometer, and you've also got your fuel gauge and your supercharger pressure gauge on the right. Overall, it's a very easy system to use and read. And pan over the top of the dash, the cutout for the heads up display resides. You've also got the red binnacle for the cluster. The whole dash is stitched in leather. And here's just a quick look at the touchscreen controls. It's pretty similar to almost all Chevy vehicles with the touchscreen display. And it does feature Bluetooth. You've got various audio and voice controls, navigation controls, as well as Sirius XM satellite radio. This vehicle is equipped with the performance data recorder. It uses the various cameras on the car to record video, as well as performance and 
performance timing and track overlays. The only downfall of the touchscreen display for the Chevrolet vehicles is that there is a bit of a lag between touching the icon and the actual action for the screen. The screen does feature pinch to zoom and slide. It is also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ready. Pressing the screen button lowers the screen and reveals the storage space with the USB PowerPoint. And looking down below, controls for your dual zone automatic climate control with temperature readout on the left hand dial and your fan speed on the right. You've also got controls for the heated and ventilated seats. Placing the vehicle in reverse does feature or activate guidance lines. They are active guidance lines and you have various camera views as well. Placing the vehicle back into uh, forward speeds uh, displays the forward facing cameras. The 12 volt power point resides in the front flap as well as two cup holders behind it. You have an electronic parking brake and of course your drive mode select with traction control. Shallow storage console with power points and USB ports. Overall the Corvette interior is a very nice, very high quality feeling area. Frameless automatic dimming rearview mirror with integrated OnStar controls. You've also got LED reading lights, three channel home link universal garage door opener on the driver's side sun visor. And the passenger sun visor features illuminated vanity mirrors. The sun visors as well as the entire windshield frame are framed in microfiber suede and material. While the luggage area is a decent size for a car of this class at 15 cubic feet, when the roof panel is stowed in the trunk, usable space is almost completely lost. As you can see, it is a full carbon fiber roof with the dual paint stripes. When you have the roof panel in place on the car, your luggage area is very nice and flat. It does feature tie down hooks, a nice amount of storage with minimal wheelhouse intrusion, full carpeting, full illumination. And of course, the luggage area also features a small hinge storage well. You've also got 12 volt power point and cargo net organizer. Nice amount of storage space in the supercar basically. And this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the brand new 2018 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. We hope the review was informative and as always, thanks for watching.